All right, the good old LA traffic. Well guys, check that out. If you haven't seen a man-made lake before, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Aren't we just kidding, huh? We're kidding, aren't we? We're kidding, aren't we? Welcome, everybody, to another beautiful day in Los Angeles. What? We are on the scooter today! I don't know why I did that accent. It just feels natural. What accents? I don't have an accent, you do. Ooh, sexy bike. Ooh, sexy wife. Sorry, it doesn't accelerate like the R19. It doesn't, but you know what? It's very smooth. So today, guys, I'm with Mrs. Sidestand. Hey, don't do it, don't do it. She's uh, sitting right behind me. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Doesn't this remind you of Italy? It does, but it's not as nice, not as cute. Take me back to Italy. Just beating up this scooter. Oh, sh oh sh We're on the freeway. Because in California, folks, a 150cc scooter is allowed to be on the freeway. I don't recommend it, but if you really want to, do it! Yeah! <laughs> it's not very typical to see a scooter on a freeway, guys. So I'm pretty sure people are like, what the hell is this guy doing? Whoa, bro! What the f***? We're trying to accomplish maximum efficiency here. Alright, done with the race tuck. Traffic. <laughs> Made it. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> oh, damn. Should I race him, babe? Yeah. Oh, I think he wants to race. Yes, yes, yes. It's a beautiful thing being able to split in California. All right, I just got to get over now because that is our exit. Well, that was fun. See you later, dude. All right, guys, today we're going to take you to this cool little restaurant called My Chloe. Bye, Chloe. <laughs> called By <Bye>, Chloe. <laughs> It's a pretty dope spot that serves vegan options. It's all vegan. Actually, it's all vegan. Vegan, what? Well, Mrs. Sidestan and I have been plant-based for over a year now. And primarily due to health reasons. For me, at least. I was a bit apprehensive to, to take that route because I thought I was going to be eating vegetables most of the time. But honestly, that's not the case. Before I turned vegan, uh, the wife and I were doing the paleo diet because I was bodybuilding. However, I was pretty much dying on the inside because of my cholesterol. 
So I really had to change that. Essentially, I dropped my cholesterol down by 100 points in literally less than a year. So that's pretty huge. And if it's not backed up by data, then I probably won't trust it. So yeah, numbers don't lie. Cholesterol's down, I'm feeling good, and I'm gonna stick to this path. But I'm not here to lecture you guys or anything, because you can eat whatever the f you want, really. I just wanna be able to share with you guys some pretty uh, good vegan options that you may think taste like crap, <laughs> but it doesn't. By Chloe. All right, that's what it's called, had such an issue. What's the name of that uh that restaurant we're going to? I Chloe. Say what? I Chloe. I Chloe? Bye. Like, oh, bye. Oh, bye. Bye Chloe. Uh -huh. Bye Chloe. So the spot we're taking you guys today is <laughs> What was it called again? <laughs> bye Chloe. Huh? How am I getting off? Yeah. <laughs> did, did you forget how to donate money to the homeless because it's gonna make me feel real good I did something good today guys did something good have a good one yes this is new inspired by our trip in Italy man it was crazy morning traffic and afternoon rush hour it's yeah, it, it's certainly different from, from the States. Mrs. Side Stand's gonna be super comfortable on it. She doesn't have to uh, hold on to me. Even though she should, because it makes me feel sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. Had a meatball sub, and I think it was hash browns that they gave me. Yeah, I tried that mac and cheese and whew, Not cheese. Yep. really, I, I couldn't taste the difference. Mouth watering. <laughs> On camera, this hill doesn't look that bad. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go check out uh, the Silver Lake Reservoir, guys. I feel like we just went in a complete circle. Like a circle. Like a circle. Come on, come on, come on. What up, man? Denied. Oh, ignored. So yeah, this scooter is absolutely perfect for these conditions right now. Well, guys, check that out. If you haven't seen a man-made lake before, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Wait, Tommy. Is that an entrance? But there's no parking here. Should I bring the scooter in there? No. <laughs> I think I'm annoying my wife, guys. I don't think she's gonna give me any later. Yeah? It's on a hill, so... Hopefully this doesn't... Ugh. Don't tip over, please. Don't tip over. Ooh, you're so sexy. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful man-made lake, wasn't it? Mmm, <laughs> put it on, put it on. Oh yeah. 
penguin. <laughs> you always gotta stay protected. Yeah. Sometimes. Puppy. 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 <laughs> Gotta make sure that truck was obstructing uh, her view. Yeah. But she couldn't see me, at least uh, she heard me. So yeah, this scooter, guys, it, it does pretty well on the freeway. Stability is pretty good. However, my only gripe about this is that I can't go over uh, 70 miles an hour. And I'm pretty sure they put a governor on here. But you wouldn't want to go that fast on a scooter anyways. But overall, it's a really good bike uh, to go around the city. Maneuvering through traffic, splitting lanes, yeah, it's perfect for that. Would you say you're more comfortable on this bike? Oh, yeah. Than you would be on the R90? Oh, yeah. Would you ever uh, ride on the back of the R90 with me ever again? No. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. You gotta keep the wife happy now, okay? But mainly it's a safety concern. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's ride. And if you did, do like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be sure to keep those side stands up. Vegan, why vegan you may ask? Vegan.